Hey Bulls fans, welcome to iTalk with Alora. Now, what better way to start the iTalk season with not just one guest, oh. but two. Oh my God, you guys are fast. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> USF football game, yay! It's the best whoa, day of the- Whoa, 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 whoa. Where yeah. do you think you're going with that bag? What, you think it's too big for the new bag policy? Yeah. Well, good thing I'm prepared. I got this bad boy that I can wear in there. What? Oh yeah, you guys, I almost forgot. Rocky just told me that this year's a leap year. Today you have an extra day, and why not spend it at the USF softball field? Wednesday, February 29th. Come watch the Bulls play Michigan. Go Bulls! Fans, big weekend for USF this weekend as they head up north to take on UConn. Now you never know what kind of elements the weather will bring up there, but it looks like this Saturday it should be 67 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. So hopefully the guys can bring some of that cool air back to Florida with them. Now, if you've been keeping up with the Capital One mascot challenge, you know that Rocky the Bull is in second place in the country so far in 5-0 this season. So those of you who are voting, keep it up. If you haven't voted, you can do so by going to CapitalOneBull.com and voting for Rocky. But now, thanks to new revolutionary clear plastic bags technology, those problems are a thing of the past. It's so lightweight and totally see-through. Plus, I can bring it to home football games at Raymond James Stadium. <laughs> Calm down. That's right, though. Your plans for game day. So cool. Drive safe, all right? Okay, bye. I've had so many characters in here today, but no one with really big potential. All right, so what do you think you can bring to iTalk with Laura? Well, I'm almost five feet tall. Aww. We'll be in touch. After walking from tailgate to tailgate before the season opener on Saturday, it didn't take me long to see that USF fans are so excited about football season and the new head coach. What I didn't expect to see was how creative they can be as well. What are you in right now? Uh, I like to call this the pop tub. It is a uh, jacuzzi inside of a pop-up. How, how did you make this? Did you make it? or uh, You know, leftover stuff. You know, it seemed like uh, the tailgates are always pretty warm. I mean, it's Florida. It's hot out. Might as well sit in a mini swimming pool in the parking lot. While Nick Fry enjoys bathing and staying cool in the parking lot, Tampa Bay Ray spends his tailgate preparing a feast for many USF fans. How did this all start? started at the back of a Camry, Toyota Camry, with a little table. Oh my goodness. And it, and it went to this. Now this is a, tonight, today we're entertaining the uh, College of Pharmacy. So are you the chef? Yeah. What, what's out here? What kind of food do you well, have? Every game we, we, um, we base it on our, the opposing team and where they're from. So this was an easy one because they're from Louisiana and Kathy and I lived in Louisiana for many years so we made some Jambalaya, some etouffee. We had a shrimp boil with all the stuff in it. Uh, what else? Oh, red, beans red beans and rice. And rice. Awesome. Um, uh, all sorts of things. Ray not only does all of the cooking, but cooking with the visitors team in mind. Now that's sportsmanship. Big Cat Rescue wants to provide the best home possible for these cats, but hopes that one day their cause will not be necessary. Our goal is to put ourselves out of business and we believe that that's possible. I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel on this. It's a cage, it's a jail sentence to them. And every cat who can go free, we feel should go free. Some of the reasons that cats may end up at Big Cat Rescue is because they get caught up in cub petting, illegal trade, breeding, and selling them for their parts. Big Cat Rescue provides the best home possible for these unfortunate cats. The best part of Big Cat Rescue? Letting the cats go. I just love the moment you can open that door and let that cat go free because that's where they belong. And to see them realizing as they're running for the woods, it's like, oh my God, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. The only cats that can be released back to the wild are native Florida bobcats. For the rest of the cats, Big Cat Rescue will remain their home forever. For TV News, I'm Alora Reeves.